Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sneha Shetty, Clinical Director, Chief Fertility Specialist at Vriksh Fertility, HSR Layout, Bengaluru. IUI and IVF are completely different fertility treatments. IUI is usually the first fertility treatment which your fertility specialist may advise if you're having ovulation problems in the female and if you're having irregular periods or if you've tried naturally, you're not able to conceive and then you want to go about start your fertility treatment journey and you're having good egg reserve, then your doctor may advise you to go ahead with IUI. Now coming to the male part, if at all with regards to the sperms, we have to take a decision with regards to IUI or IVF. IUI is usually advised if at all the male sperm count is little on the lower side but not very severely low. That means if it is less than 10 million, then we usually advise them to go for IVF. If it is between 10 to 15 million sperm count, then we usually advise them to try IUI treatment. But this again depends on the female factor as well. So if at all the woman is having good ovarian reserve and the male partner's semen analysis report shows that he's having only a sperm count between 10 to 15 million, then we advise them to go for IUI. If the female partner's reserve is on the lower end, that means very few follicles are seen on the ultrasound scan and the male partner's sperm count is only 10 to 15 million then we definitely will advise them to go for IVF directly. So the difference between IUI and IVF is that IUI is a very simple procedure wherein we just track the female partner's follicle and once the follicle is ready that is it reaches about 18 to 20 mm in size then we usually give them dates for IUI. So IUI day, the male partner usually comes, gives his semen sample. We process the semen sample and good motile sperms are taken and put into the female partner's uterus. So this is absolutely painless. It's a daycare. After 10 minutes of the procedure, we usually advise them to uh, go back home. Whereas in IVF, IVF is completely different. The treatment starts from second or third day of the periods and we start giving them daily injections, which are gonadotropin injections. These injections can go for up to eight days 10 days 12 days depending on the patient and in between we call the patients once in every three days or four days to check whether all the follicles are growing or not in IUI we would like to have only one to two follicles developing whereas in IVF we are giving these 10 days injections in order to grow all the follicles so once all the follicles are ready under anesthesia we go and we with the help of ultrasound guided we put a needle so it's absolutely painless and we collect the eggs so we aspirate the follicular fluid and we check in that follicular fluid whether they are eggs or not and how many are good healthy eggs in those those eggs are injected by each sperm so those eggs we take out and then we put it with sperms and form the embryo once these embryos are formed we grow it to up to three to five days and after that we place those embryos at least two or three of these embryos into the female partner's uterus so this is the difference between IUI and IVF. So now with regards to the male partner sperm problems, if at all the semen analysis report shows that the sperm count is anywhere between 10 to 15 million sperms, we usually advise them to go for IUI treatment, wherein we are processing the semen sample and good sperms are taken and put into the uterus. Whereas if the sperm count is very less, less than 10 million, then we usually advise them to go for treatment like IVF.